Hello folks, it's uh, Doug from EM Propagation. Um, it's May 19th, 2017. Today I wanted to go over um, a simulator um, called System Vision Cloud. And it's a free cloud-based simulation tool. Um, probably one of the uh, one of the best ones that I've seen out there and this is a follow-up from a webinar that I had with uh, Electrosource uh, earlier this week the presenter was Dale Molasset and um, it's a uh, mentor graphics um, product and again, it's called System Vision. The I would encourage you to um, have a look at the at least the introduction video that um, System Vision has on its website and. Just bring this up here. So that would be uh, something that I would encourage you to do before uh, using it. It gets you up to speed uh, pretty quick on, on uh, using the product. So it's a cloud-based simulation tool, and it's very easy to uh, set up an account and start using it. Um, the only limitation that it has is with the free cloud-based version, is it allows you to have five private designs. Um, any more than that and you um, have to make them public and um, you can uh, change the uh, five private ones or delete them add uh, add new designs as long as you're as long as you stick to um, just having five private designs so to start using it, um, when you pull up the System Vision Cloud uh, web page, is you want to log in, and so I've been logged in before, um, but uh, if I want to, I can show you what you get first when you pull up the sign up or sign in and so I'm going to use my LinkedIn account and it takes a couple of minutes and so now we're logged in if uh, so right now I've got a bunch of designs that are uh, private and public but uh, so let's create a new design we'll call it um, just uh, RC uh, capacitor current and energy short and show to anyone and you can put whatever tags you want um, current and energy and a capacitor Okay, add that tag, 
and um, add a description if you want. So you've got um, the components that you're going to use on the left hand, the left pane, and on the right plane, pane, you've got your uh, simulation panel. So, okay, if we build up a little RC circuit. Uh, you'll see that you place the component and you rotate it whatever in whatever orientation you want and add a resistor and we will add ground. And we will add a source and okay. Now to um, interconnect them, there's a number of ways to do it, but probably um, You just drag them. You'll find that the till the um, ends meet, they will actually make a connection. That's one method. Uh, the other method is to. Uh, Click on the unconnected point and drag it over to the uh, to the rest of the circuit to set up the parameters. I'm going to say this is a one volt source and um, DC. Okay no internal resistance um, so an ideal voltage source the resistor let's make it uh, 1k and fine and the capacitor um, let's make it one microfarad and use initial voltage of zero so, okay, initial conditions. And, okay, center it in the screen if you want. And save it. Um, set the simulation time for uh, 10 milliseconds based on the R and C value that I've used. Um, and run the simulation. Okay. And so we've got voltage probes which we can place at various points. So in this one, I'm going to use it to display the energy. So it's uh, 0.5 microjoules, um, which is based on 
the um, one half CV squared. So in this case, I've got one volt and um, one microfarad. Um, and hence 0.5 microjoules or 500 nanojoules. Okay, and just uh, move that over. And I'll take another probe and measure the current at the positive terminal. What this is, is a conventional current from plus uh, out to the circuit and back to the negative terminal. Um, I'll also show you the current at the bottom terminal of the capacitor and this is actually electron flow and if you recall if you've seen my previous uh, videos talking about this current flow through a capacitor um, and uh, I'm just going to get rid of that pain for one second and uh, no <laughs> current does not flow through a capacitor uh, the charge source, which is in this case um, the one volt source, is uh, uh, providing charge to the plates of the capacitor, both the positive plate and the negative plate. Um, I um, mentioned about uh, the method of instantaneously uh, thinking of both conventional current uh, and electron current flow uh, to get straight in your mind what actually happens with the capacitor. Um, the initial current is uh, uh, defined by um, defined by the uh, voltage source and the resistor. Um, in this case, uh, one volt and a thousand ohms, so you've got one milliamp. And whether you're looking at the conventional current flow, which is one milliamp, uh, shown positive, and uh, the charging decaying down to zero, the electron flow is the exact same thing. Um, but showing um, minus one milliamp uh, going into the bottom terminal of the capacitor and charging the bottom plate. And so that's uh, essentially it as a quick introduction to system vision. And like I say, there will be a lot more videos later. And please uh, provide comments um, if you have any or questions. I will um, reply to them and uh, answer um, all the questions that uh, might uh, pop up. If you have comments where you'd want me to look at any particular um, type of circuit. And um, I guess that's it. Thank you very much for your time. And bye for now.